The scope, scale and speed of Turkey's growth as a global aerospace hub is unparalleled in modern history. This achievement is largely due to the country's desire to work towards self-sufficiency in the defense sector, thereby reducing dependence on foreign suppliers. Arguably, the most ambitious projects to date include the development of an advanced jet trainer and a stealth air superiority fighter. However, Turkey's efforts at manufacturing combat aircraft are not limited to manned platforms alone. Their Bayraktar TB2 unmanned aerial vehicle attained legendary status for its role in countering Russia's invasion of Ukraine. But apart from the TB2 UAV, Turkey designs and manufactures other drones too. So, in this video, we are taking a closer look at Turkey's most advanced combat drone to date, the Bayraktar Akinci. Bayraktar Akinci is a high-altitude long-endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle manufactured by Baikar. The Akinci is capable of conducting operations that are typically performed by fighter jets, such as air-to-ground or air-to-air -air attacks, among other things. Its first flight test was carried out in 2019, and by August 2021, three units entered service with the Turkish Armed Forces. The Akinci is powered by two 450 or 750 horsepower, Ukrainian-produced, turboprop engines. They enable the drone to reach speeds of up to 360 km per hour. With a wingspan of 20 meters, the Akinci is designed to have an impressive 24-hour endurance and operational altitude of around 12,000 meters. Although not officially confirmed, it was reported that the Akinci traveled for a remarkable 7,500 km during its last test flight. Designed for air-to-air -air and air-to-surface strikes, the Akinci has a payload of 1,500 kg. Perhaps the most innovative aspect of the drone is its capability to use the indigenous Bosdegan and Goktegan missiles, which are within visual range and beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles, respectively. With eight hardpoints for external stores under each wing and an additional one under its fuselage, the Akinci carries other munitions and bombs, including the SOM-A standoff missile, the MAML and MAMC smart micro munitions, and general-purpose bombs. An air-to-surface version of Turkey's first hypersonic missile, the TRG-230, was successfully fired by Akinci in late 2022. All of these novel capabilities drastically expand the scope of Turkey's drone warfare capacity to also target enemy aircraft, UAVs, and helicopters. According to the Turkish military expert Metin Gurkan, the Akinci will be Turkey's main aerial vehicle for intelligence surveillance target acquisition and command control communication tasks in the next decade. As such, it is equipped with a wide range of indigenously developed systems, such as a multi-role active electronically scanned array radar, a SARGMTI radar, a wide area surveillance system, and numerous other EW systems and suites. Baikar also claims that the drone utilizes dual artificial intelligence avionics that enable signal processing, sensor fusion, and situational awareness in real time. This combination of advanced radars, communication systems, and sophisticated weapons could make the Akinci quite effective in detecting and destroying individual land targets, on top of its impressive air capabilities that we've previously mentioned. As of October 2022, Turkey has 12 units of the Bayraktar Akinci, with one military operation conducted in April 2022 in strikes against PKK terrorist targets in northern Iraq. Reports also show that Azerbaijan and Kyrgyzstan have an undisclosed number of the Akinci, while Pakistan, Indonesia and Ukraine will likely operate some in the near future. What do you think about this drone? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.